Hi friends, it's Monica and let's review some new fantasy romance books. Today we're going to be reviewing A Bit of Romance by Mia Sai and The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. These were two review copies that I got from NetGalley, so thank you NetGalley. And these two books are going to be releasing in March. Also, sorry about the lighting. It's kind of getting dark out and I'm a little bit lazy to set up my ring lights, so sorry about that in advance. Let's just get right into the reviews. First up is Bitter Medicine. This is actually a debut novel and it's described as a contemporary urban fantasy novel with some hints of romance. And I did rate this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars. For debut novel, this urban fantasy romance was really sweet and charming and set in a multicultural world. There's also intermingling of languages and different creatures that we meet that I really did find delightful. We're following a romance between a Chinese immortal and a French elf. Elle comes off as a really relatable main character despite being immortal or long-lived, and she also has the ability to craft magic from her calligraphy. Elle is trying to correct past actions, protect her brother, and also find some peace in her art. I also really did enjoy the already established relationship with the French elf Luke, and with Luke, it was really interesting to see him grapple with his morality because of his job being like a secret agent and having to maybe do missions that doesn't really agree with his morals or values. The romance was one that was quite healthy and mature, such as not being overbearing and having healthy adult communication. There was also a tone of a will they, won't they kind of vibe, and I really enjoyed it. It was really nice to see their relationship develop quite naturally. However, I did find the beginning portion a little bit hard to grasp with the world building because you were just tossed straight in, which can work in some cases, but I think with Bitter Medicine, it was a little bit overwhelming at times. But I would describe the writing as being really quick and snappy, and once you do find your footing, it was really an enjoyable read, and I would say a really fun debut. Next, I picked up the Foxglove King, which is a, an adult fantasy romance, and I rate this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This one is about a girl who escaped a cult at 13, and ever since she has been on the run for the last decade. Now at 23 years old, she gets found out for her death magic, and she is taken by these monks to serve in the court of the sainted king. Of course, we have our love interests, we have a duke turned monk bodyguard, and we also have the heir prince. Going into this book, I was expecting a really fun fantasy romance filled with spicy scenes and we do end up getting quite a complex fantasy world with politics, war, and religion being main factors. It wasn't exactly what I expected going into this book, but I really did appreciate the simple concept of the magic system being comprised of death magics. There are two types of magic in this world that represent a balance. There's the death magic known as mortum, and then there's the life magic known as spiritum. Our protagonist, her name is Laura, and she's taken to the sainted king, and she is ordered by the king to use her death magic to figure out why villages are being killed overnight. Laura did take some time to grow on me as a character because I felt she was coming off too hard to be funny or witty, since she is burying her past in secrets through this front that she presents. Then we have our love interest. First up, we have our duke turned monk bodyguard, and his name is Gabriel. He is a disgraced noble, and he can also sense mortal, which is normally achieved through certain means. Gabe is quite a close-off person. He's quite loyal to the church, and then that leads us to question his loyalties. Then we have the Sun Prince Bastion, and he can be described as the life of the party, but he harbors many secrets. In the interactions between the love interests, Bastion and Gabe, can be quite tense at times, but it's really enjoyable to read. With both of these men, Lord has an inexplicable connection to both of them, and it develops into something more. I would say the Foxglove King does has its moments of being creepy with um, the death magic and necromancy and I would also say the characters were enjoyable to read about but their motivations were quite predictable. Overall, this one reads more of a, just a simple fantasy book instead of a fantasy romance. We do have quite intense politics and religious tensions going on and impending war 
and magic that just might kill you and those are all things that i really loved those were all my thoughts on these two books i really hope you enjoy this video and maybe decide to pick one of these two books up and i do want to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads and i'll see you all in my next one bye Thank you.